There was a grand send-off in the Territorials Marathon. The film star Liz Fraser got the first team away. They represented number 289 Parachute Regiment. Just a few of the 400 soldiers taking part. Now, the team of the 1st Battalion London Irish Rifles. This marathon was a two-day exercise. It included two forced marches, totaling more than 30 miles, a night march and assault course. Talk about a test of fitness. Some were so keen they weren't content just with marching. One of the checkpoints on this route from Maidstone to Chelsea. We don't seem to hear much of the territorials nowadays, but how much better to be one of them than a purple heart swallower? Not marching, but providing a bit of variety, was the chuck wagon competition. These army vehicles can go over pretty nearly everything, but there is a limit. Yes, there is. There's a lot of team spirit about this marathon, so it's quite all right to be towed out. Another variation, the assault course. That's all part of army training, but coming just after a forced march, it's a bit much. Not so many years ago, thousands of men were reaching war-winning fitness in this way. How many could do it now? Even on a dry day, it wouldn't be easy finding your way through under this lot. A feat of balance. It'll be hard enough even without a rifle and pack. The best job, watching the rest. Here's a surprise. The leading team are in London. Not far to go now, the finishing point being in Chelsea at the Duke of York's headquarters. A few of the men were exhausted. Nothing serious, and they were soon in good care. It shows a good spirit, because all the men in the marathon volunteered for it. The captain of the winning team, Headquarters Independent Parachute Brigade, received the trophy from Field Marshal Alexander. So, a pat on the back for all who showed that in the territorials, men are men.